Good evening, I'm Shogh Mohammed and this is the 11 o'clock news. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today at Safriya Palace the judge of the Sharia ah Court of Cassation and the head of Bahrain Hajj Mission, Sheikh Adnan bin Abdel Al Ghatlan, to greet His Majesty on the occasion of the mission's return to the kingdom following the end of the Hajj season. Sheikh Al Ghatlan briefed His Majesty on the mission statistics for this year and the health condition of the Bahraini pilgrims. He also briefed His Majesty on the facilitations the mission provided, including medical and preventive care to all pilgrims. His Majesty hailed the efforts of the Bahraini mission and its keenness on supervising the Hajj campaigns to ensure providing the best services possible. He affirmed that serving pilgrims is a duty and an honor that requires unification of efforts. On the occasion, His Majesty the King congratulated the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud of Saudi Arabia, on the success of this year's Hajj season. He commended the efforts of the Saudi government authorities and institutions to serve the pilgrims and Mecca's remarkable construction work that aims to develop and expand it. His Majesty wished Saudi Arabia further security and stability. For his part, the head of the Bahrain Hajj mission expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his keenness on ensuring the comfort of the kingdom's pilgrims and for his follow-up on all their affairs, wishing His Majesty the King abundant health and happiness. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at Gulaybiya Palace. His Royal Highness congratulated Bahraini pilgrims on their safe return after performing the Hajj rituals, praising the great success of this year's Hajj season thanks to the efforts and facilitations of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia. Within the framework of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister's follow-up and keenness to develop infrastructure in all areas of Bahrain, his Royal Highness directed the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning to follow up on the development of sectors in just Jannusan and rehabilitated infrastructure including the development of parking lots, roads and parks.
The Cabinet approved a draft law organizing the technical requirements for sending, receiving and updating the electronic records and signatures of public bodies. Within the framework of bilateral relations between Bahrain and Oman, the Cabinet approved a number of memorandums of understanding and executive programs, which will be signed during the joint committee meeting between the two countries. In light of the issuance of Royal Decree 30 of 2018, at the end of the fourth session of the fourth legislative term, the Cabinet took note of the drafts of the remaining government laws in the legislature. An implementation of the directives of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister of the necessity for taking into consideration the quality of medications to closely monitor medical purchases, the Cabinet was briefed on the measures that have been taken to ensure the high quality of medications. The Cabinet referred to the Council of Representatives two draft laws. The first draft law amends Article 1 of Decree Law 4 of 2001 on prohibiting and combating money laundering and the financing of terrorism and the second on adding a new article to Decree Law 3 of 2002 on the election system for municipal councillors. The first Deputy President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Athletics Association, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, has officially inaugurated the Adventure Hub Company in Galleria Mall. His Highness Sheikh Khalid expressed pleasure in inaugurating the company's branch in Bahrain, which will contribute to promoting indoor climbing. His Highness hailed the efforts of the Dadabai Company, led by Mohammed Ahmed Dadabai, to support investment in Bahrain by attracting various world companies, which will increase development and support the national economy. He wished the company further success in its investment and economic services in the kingdom. The third edition of the Bahrain Property Development Association exhibition began today at City Center Mall and will continue for the next five days. More in this report. Organized by the Bahrain Property Development Association, Bobdex was launched in 2012 as the first real estate development exhibition in Bahrain, highlighting products and services in the region. Bobdex is a leading endeavor that offers an exciting platform for the real estate industry in Bahrain. What I've uh, seen today, uh, there are a number, a number of real estate projects uh, uh, in the field of, of residential and commercial, and also in, uh, uh, this indicates that this sector is developing and it is still is, and it's attracting investors from on the local market and also from on the Gulf area and outside. Bob Dex is a unique opportunity for retailers and consumers to network and cooperate in a mutually rewarding exchange while throwing the spotlight once again on Bahrain's well-deserved reputation as a business-friendly and progressive nation. This is uh, the end-user boutique type of exhibition. We are targeting the end-users here, uh, especially uh, our neighbor uh, our neighbors in Saudi Arabia uh, because of the traffic. We have a unique product. Uh, we have uh, good demand and I think uh, having it inside a mall, it's a, it's, it's a new idea which we implemented and the result was excellent in the previous years and we are planning to do it every year and I think all the developers are so happy being inside this uh, beautiful mall. 
as the leading non-profit organization representing the property development industry in the country. BABDA has been dynamic in consistently putting forward initiatives to improve knowledge and professionalism while energizing the market in different ways so as to benefit the national economy and infrastructure as well as all stakeholders.